goes the dynamite. Like something's, I'm like, like something's not set up properly. You know, we're gonna see. Yeah, hello, all. Oh, welcome to the dark room. I am Palmos Hinton. Thank you. I am Palmos Hinton, the dude in the dark room, and it is uh, Wednesday, December fourteenth. It's my birthday. Uh, thank you very much. So uh, tonight's going to be a little bit shorter than usual because I got some birthday plans. Um, but I really wanted to get on here and get our fourth season of How to Marry a Photographer started. Uh, thank you. Thank you, bro. Uh, I want to get our, our first season of or fourth season of How to Marry a Photographer uh, going. We're not going to play all that much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is this is a. Uh, my birthday present from a girlfriend. Thank you, Veronica. She's hanging out with me here at the studio while I do this because we're about to go get some dinner. Uh, some birthday dinner and some birthday treats. Maybe some ice cream or something. I don't know. Something. Um, but uh, this, is, this is a present she got me. I think it's really cool. I, can't, I don't know if I can get the whole thing in here right now, but it's, uh, it's a very interesting design. Stardew Valley shirt. I love this thing. Uh, it's very good for a hot map, considering that it's Stardew Valley time. So uh, maybe this will be one of the various T-shirts that I wear on the Stardew Valley stream. Uh, I think it's very fitting. I should get a whole slew of Stardew Valley shirts. Why not? I don't know. You only live once, right? Um, anyway, thank you. And uh, like I'm saying, we're going to be getting the first couple days probably just the first two days uh, of the how to marry a photographer season four done uh, we're gonna play it a little bit different uh, than we have previously which I will detail uh, as we play along the differences in our uh, uh, strategy going forward if you have been following along you would know that we pretty much entirely stuck with mining the, the previous uh, playthrough and then uh, the two before that, we've done three seasons now, obviously season four, uh, the first two seasons we stuck prim primarily with foraging as our main, uh, our main moneymaker and main, uh, strategy just throughout that entire, those first entire playthroughs, uh, for reasons that, uh, if you're interested in, you should check out those seasons because every episode of all of the How to Marry Photographer, uh, seasons, oops, uh, are on YouTube. So check out uh, the YouTube channel if you want to watch any of the previous installments of the How to Marry a Photographer series. And like I said, I break down pretty much in each one of those uh, seasons. Uh, I give a little bit of a breakdown uh, in terms of the strategy, the overall strategy of that, that playthrough. Uh, so if you're interested in that and the differences, it's going to be impossible to cover all the differences uh, uh, unless I uh, spent a lot of time doing it, so we don't have time for that tonight. Um, so if you're interested in that, check those out. And um, also, whenever we're doing these streams, whether it's Stardew Valley, uh, Zelda, Spelunky, Fallout, uh, we're always working on a photography in that particular piece of media video, an overall video describing and detailing the photographic elements of uh, that game. So in this case... It's kind of limited. That's actually why I, I, I'm going to use Stardew Valley as one of the first uh, produced How to Marry Photographer videos, at least game videos, because this game is a very small amount of photography, but I think it's worth talking about, and it's interesting pointing out um, the little details that I've noticed that I really enjoy. Um, and as you obviously probably already know, if you're a fan of the series and you've seen this before, uh, the character that we're going to marry is a photographer in the game, uh, and you can... Uh, find her taking photos around the town. You can find uh, her using her dark room eventually, which we'll get to. It's like one of the last things that we do. Spoilers. Um, this is a definitely a heavily, uh, heavily uh, spoiler alerted uh, uh, showcase, please, because you're not gonna. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna go over stuff that you probably won't want to know. So if you haven't played Stardew Valley and you want to play Stardew Valley uh, without spoilers, I would not watch this right now. Just FYI. I should probably put that on the actual description, maybe. I guess you probably should should already get it that... I also should have marked this as a speed run, because that's basically what this is. But I was going to say, I think if, if you're watching a speed run type video, I, I'm pretty sure that, that 
comes with the understanding that it's not going to be uh, a spoiler free uh, playthrough, or at least, you know, you're going to see a lot more very quickly. So um, that should go pretty well in hand for this guy, I'd say. Uh, other than that, what else we got? Oh, check out if you want to like, uh, if you like the short clip type things. Uh, and you're not into watching these really long format uh, playthroughs that we do here, check out uh, our TikTok as well, because uh, both TikTok and YouTube have short clips, but obviously TikTok is uh, specifically shorter form videos. So if that's your thing, also check out our TikTok, because that'll give you some bite-sized clips that might be more of your liking. Uh, although we don't do very many Stardew clips. I have some things in mind, but this this game in particular is not really the best for clipping uh, as much as taking photos in Fallout or, or Zelda. Those work out to be perfect little clips, uh, and, and there's not really a regular amount of uh, little clip-sized uh, videos in Stardew Valley when we play, or at least I have not really picked up on it. I would love suggestions. If anybody has suggestions, obviously let me know um, what kind of clips we can do other than like montages. Bump down those highlights if you don't want clipping. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I expose, uh, I expose for the highlights. I'm always, always exposing for those highlights. I know what I'm doing. Uh, I also got some sweet photo books uh, as another gift for my girlfriend for my birthday. I actually meant to bring those. I'm realizing now I wanted to bring at least. I'll show those off later. Eventually here in the dark room, I do want to talk about photo books as well. Again, just, we're going to have a whole slew of different media that we speak of um, here uh, photographically. And I, I have a lot of photo books that have influenced me and I'm very interested in that I'd love to talk about. So um, these new ones I got are no exception to that. I, these are, are good for that kind of thing. Um, other than that, though, I do want to just kind of get started. Like I said, we don't, uh, we're not going to be on here too long. I just want to get our file going, play the first couple days, kind of explain our overall strategy, which is different than the, the previous playthroughs, but um, we'll be utilizing pretty much the same basic idea. The, the only changes here that we're making are uh, how we want to make our money and we've been kind of discovering throughout our playthroughs what we think is the fastest and best way to do this. I haven't really research. I haven't done any research on uh, suggestions for making money fast in this game. I'm really using my own uh, knowledge of the game and just kind of making uh, strategy choices based on my own playing experience. So maybe eventually, after we do it a few times, I'll lift my embargo on doing research and uh, I can look up like the fastest way to make money and like there's probably some good not necess not not like cheating exploits necessarily but um speed run uh approved exploits that make a lot of money or something like that i've never i've never really done all that much research because i don't like looking that kind of stuff up it kind of ruins games for me sometimes uh and then you know having just started this speed run type thing i didn't really want to look anything up until we uh, had at least a, f a few of these playthroughs under our belt. I will say that uh, since the last time we uh, ended uh, our third uh, season or session of uh, How to Marry a Photographer, I have played quite a bit and I've been doing some uh, experimentation that I can get done a lot quicker than doing it on the stream since we only do this once a week. Uh, so uh, that is why we're going to actually have a little bit of a dramatic shift. O originally, if you had been watching the previous season, you would know that we actually had been uh, basically focusing on mining, uh, and I thought that was kind of like the best, fastest way to make money, um, but we're going to actually focus on fishing, which is going to be a very, very uh, useful uh, profession for us to make money very quickly in the game. Uh, so without further ado, I don't think I have anything else. Oh, well, we have a pretty sweet Discord. We have a really great group of people on Discord. Uh, basically, all my favorite people in the world are on the Discord, and everybody I know is very creative and loves video games, uh, loves art in general. Uh, so uh, check that out if you enjoy what you see here, this kind of photo-related content. Uh, you can keep track of what we're doing while we're not on the stream on the Discord, although I always like to say that I'm, I'm kind of bad with Discord, and I'm trying to get better, slowly getting better about being on there regularly, so... 
Uh, if you go on there and you post something and I don't see it, just give me a break and uh, uh, give me some time to get to it. Really appreciate everybody's patience on that. Um, yeah, other than that, let's get started. Thank you all again uh, for coming and hanging out. Really appreciate it. Uh, also, cheers. Uh, I'm going to do one little shot now, and then we'll do one shot at the end of the uh, end of the stream uh, in lieu of the, of, of, the, of the birthday celebration. So cheers. Uh, I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers to my homies. Woo. And that's just vodka. I'm just doing like just a vodka shot. If you want to follow along at home uh, and obviously be responsible. I'm not, I am not driving FYI, be responsible, be safe, but let's have some fun and two shots of vodka. Yes. One of my favorite, <laughs> I quote that a lot. I quote that. That's one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, that could be, dude, that has to be a redemption. We'll get that on here as a redemption eventually. That That's very fitting too for our style of redemptions that we seem to kind of keep here um anyway let's get in there damn i haven't had to click on the stardew settings for a while because we've been it's been a while since we did this i did start a uh a tim burton i call this guy my tim burton character on tim burton farms uh this was this, my messing around file that i was playing with between between our seasons here uh what is your photo inspired character name going to be tonight oh okay so tonight in in, in uh, out of respect in in homage in or i'm sorry in uh uh in tribute to my birthday okay i'm actually gonna play as paul let's do a paul character i'm a photographer okay uh th this works um and as you can see for those if anybody's uninitiated the incredible thing to me has been that we've never, we've never uh, uh, gotten past day 17. This has been our end date on each one of our first three sessions, which is incredible to me. Uh, I really thought our mining playthrough, uh, it felt like we were making so much more money that we would get things done so much faster. Uh, but as you also might know, I, I, if you've been watching these, we have a lot of random events that, uh, can really change our outcome and I do not have control over those things which we will talk about as we play uh, each time well suited being among the Ansels and Gans and Leibovitz oh I wish I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm I'm worthy of of licking their boots but uh, I appreciate you saying that I, I, I hope I hope I am on their level we'll, we'll see one of these days time will tell uh, but uh, currently I don't know uh, what am I doing? We want to start a new file, first of all, but just to show you those first few sessions that we've had. Um, and I honestly, I, I really... My girlfriend has been getting me into just using the randomized character creation. I mean, I guess I could kind of make it look like me, but I don't really want to spend the time doing that right now. So maybe I'm just going to use the canned... This guy looks close enough. He's close enough. Maybe we don't need overalls kind of guy wears overalls here's what i'm gonna do i'm doing the skull shirt since it's actually almost it's er, at least that's what this symbol is supposed to be this the the makeup i don't know if you guys could tell looking at it, the design of this shirt but it looks like a skull uh if you can see the whole thing kind of like a little punisher deal or sid from from toy story but anyway we got that t-shirt i think that works is that the Leibovitz? that might be the shirts we put on Leibovitz too Maybe, maybe not. I know I put that on somebody. Um, I was just looking at those characters. How did I miss it? Uh, I wasn't paying attention, and that is why. Uh, but blue jeans, some boots, some brown boots, and some brownish hair. That looks pretty good. Eye color. Can you even t I mean, that's literally the eye color is like two pixels. Two or three pixels on there, and I can barely... Unless you turn it to, like, a very vivid, bright, neon-type color. It's kind of hard to tell what color the eyes are, so I'm not going to deal with that. I'm not going to deal with any of this stuff, except... Let's pop our name in there. Which is Paul, which I spell P-A-W-L. It's a unique spelling. My parents are from Scandinavia. 
that's how they do things over there. Uh, I'm just gonna call it MH Farms. I do not actually spell my name that way, but I'm gonna spell Poach. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, MH Farm. Do we want? I I know I'm not gonna be able to fit my entire last name, Mosey Hanton, in here. Oh, dude, Dark Room Farm. That makes so much sense. What am I talking about? We are Dark Room dudes. Dark Room Farm. It'd be nice if you could decide if it says farm or farms. Because sometimes I, I, I like the sound of, you know, Dark Room Farms rather than Dark Room Farm. Uh, but that's fine. Not that it's grammatically correct. It's just stylized wise. It sounds fun. And then that also indicates that we are a... Uh, we're, uh, you know, a franchise. We're not just like simply a, a one-off. It's all about franchising these days. So you want to make your farm sound like it's it's got that, it's got that sister or brother farm associated with it somewhere. Darkroom Pharmaceutical. See, so yeah, I can't even fit. I think Darkroom, we're like pushing, I don't know how many more. No, I don't think you can. I guess it doesn't tell you until you hear it. Let's see, let's see. Oh, you know what? Was that as many? Maybe we have to fill the... I don't know if that name... Does it extend past... Whatever, it doesn't matter. We're doing Darkroom Farm. Favorite thing is obviously photography. Or should it be my girlfriend? I don't know. I guess that's a hard choice. I'll do... I'm, I'm going to do photography because that's what we do here. Doesn't have to be true. Just what we're selecting. Obviously, I'm a cat dude. If you know me, I'm a cat guy. Um, and all these cats are very cute. All these cats are very cute. I don't think... I think I choose this one the least amount. Not that I don't think it's adorable, but... Just that what happens. Um, so that cat's... That cat's perfect. And then we're gonna use... I, I don't really think it matters all that much what farm we choose at this point if we're if we're focusing on fishing what what map we actually land on doesn't make that big of a difference other than it's nice to have the riverland farm just so that you can catch um, a little bit better fish if we want to because what we end up wanting to do is spend the last minute of the days fishing and doing that right on your farm is fantastic hot maps is hot map oh it's hot map um, so I'm going to select Riverland Farm here now. I might at some point, it might, might, might still be good to use the Hilltop Farm because having access to some mining opportunities is, is still really good, even if we're not focusing on mining. So that might end up being what we do a, 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 su su a subsequent playthrough. Uh, doing a hilltop farm and focusing on fishing, but for now we're going to do the Riverland farm. And we're pretty good there. Okay, so we don't get the fishing rod until day two here. Also, let me step in. Let me step in a bit. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Beautiful. Spirits, not gonna make any, it does not affect anything that we're gonna, well, I mean, it affects things we're gonna do today, but it, it, I'm not gonna change my behavior based on that right now, which can happen in uh, later, uh, later playthrough, or if I, if I got into this game, this particular playthrough very much, then the daily luck can affect what I decide to do that day. Uh, so, first order of business while we don't really care about farming all that much uh, it actually might come in handy to have a little bit more of a farming uh, upgrade to uh, in terms of our, our farming skill level because if we get to the point where uh, sunflower seeds um, our sunflowers are available, which is going to be in, in the next season. Uh, we want the higher farming skill level so that we have a higher probability of getting a better quality sunflower uh, because sunflowers are going to be one of the loved gifts that we can give uh, our girl Haley 
to uh, uh, fall in love with us with. Got to give them those gifts, man. The more love gifts, the better. And the biggest randomized uh, item that we're looking for is any of the love gifts for Haley. So uh, one of the biggest things we have to do every day is check the stock at, at the saloon because that gives us an opportunity to buy either pink cake or uh, the fruit salad, which are her two loved food items. Um, although I don't, I think we found pink cake once, maybe. I think maybe once there was like two pink cakes in Gus's stock. Uh, but uh, we have not found a nice good stack of a loved gift in an inventory, which also the traveling cart, we have to make sure we check those on uh, the stock of the traveling cart Fridays and Sundays because that gives us an opportunity to buy, I believe, all of those foods. I think any of those, I'm pretty sure any food can be available. So we have the opportunity to get pink cake and the fruit salad in the cart there and coconuts and possibly sunflowers. I'm pretty sure you can, any item, most items in the game are available uh, in the rotating stock, randomized stock uh, that the uh, traveling cart has. So um, very important to check that. We're obviously not gonna get there today because we're only gonna do like the first two days uh, and then wrap things up, like I said. Uh, but getting our farming skill up a little bit might help us out. So uh, I am going to use a little bit of these parsnip seeds. I also don't really want to waste any of my energy or time uh, dealing with farming because it, essentially the most important thing is randomly coming across some of those loved gifts in the in those uh random or in the uh the two uh, uh vendors that have the possibility of dropping those items so uh focusing on farming is not the best strategy at least i don't think so maybe one day we will uh do a playthrough just for fun where we focus on farm farming but the problem with farming is that you have to invest a lot of money and then it's a long-term uh, investment because you have to grow the crop and then sell it to make the money off that investment uh, and that is dangerous because that l does not leave us a lot of uh, liquid cash that we can then buy those loved gifts uh, with and one of the one of the pieces of strategy that we're going to use is always maintaining a, a basically like a minimum amount of gold. Like I will probably never drop. I don't want to drop below at least two thousand gold, and that will probably we can shift that number as we as we uh, uh, make a determination on what the best the best number to keep is because we haven't had we haven't ran into. Uh, the issue of not having enough money to buy those loved gifts. Uh, we've never come across a huge stack of loved gifts that would require that much money. So uh, at some point, I will either be very, very disappointed by uh, how much uh, I cannot buy, or I'll be very happy that I have enough money to buy a full stack of whatever item it is that we find, which I think is really only possible with the food. I'm not sure how much what the number in the traveling cart if there's like a limit to the stock number of one particular item like I know for instance the uh, rare seeds those can only be in stacks of to like at most five if I'm not mistaken but I don't know if a food item can have 10 or 15 I know I've seen more than that uh, more than five at Gus, at Gus's saloon, at the saloon, the Star Drop, Star Drop Saloon, right? Star Drop Saloon. And that's what we're probably the best bet is to get a gigantic stack uh, of whatever, whatever loved item pops up at the best price. That's it. The other thing is that it's a randomized price. So we could show up to the traveling cart and she might have four coconuts for a thousand gold and we're not gonna have a uh, thousand gold uh, for each coconut to buy so uh, might not end up uh, happy camper if that's the case 
okay, first thing, first important thing is getting enough wood to build a, at least one chest, although that's also going to be uh, a quota, certain amount of wood for a certain amount of chests. I believe, and this is something as well, that we will have a very, very specific number for. There's, there's a very specific number of chests that I'm going to want to build, and I haven't determined that yet. I know I need at least four, because we're going to get into the mines eventually. We want one at the mines. We want at least two here at the house. And then we're going to want one at our main fishing spot, which is going to end up being the, the ocean uh, for reasons that will be explained as we go along. Uh, but we want these boxes so we don't run out of inventory space, uh, which with fishing, we can probably buy the new backpack pretty quick. That's actually one of the best things about fishing is that you make pretty good amount of money pretty quick, which is, again, why we're going to be focusing on fishing for this playthrough. Uh, so I'm going to do six parsnips right now, and then I'm going to go buy uh, one. Oh, I just wasted some energy. Uh, I'm going to go buy one uh, of each of the other crops necessary for the bundle. Because I believe on this playthrough, I am going to stick to uh, trying to complete the bundles so that we can get to the desert, which is another big part of the strategy. Uh, new strategy. We didn't really do this as much in the first two, or we didn't do this at all in the first two playthroughs. Um, but getting to the desert, very, very useful because that gives us the opportunity to just gather coconuts from the coconut trees in the desert uh, as one of the uh, Haley's loved gifts. That's a really important, very important thing to get done. So that's one of the main focuses that we have making. And that's why making money as soon as possible is very important because we want to be able to get to the desert as soon as possible and have access to easy, easy breezy loved gifts for Haley. I don't care about, I'm not going to try to talk to anybody. We don't care about anybody Haley, basically. Unless there's a, uh, a bulletin board quest for somebody that's extremely easy to accomplish, I'm going to try to focus on not taking any of those. Uh, we'll do one potato. And then that's going to be Green bean, cauliflower, potato, and parsnips. That's all we need to complete the uh, the spring crops bundle. And so that's all we're gonna do. Again, energy uh, is very is gonna be very important. Uh, it's to maintain as much fishing as possible. Here's the cool thing about fishing, though. As we're fishing, you're getting items that can re-energize you because you can just eat the fish straight up. Eat some eat some raw fish. My boy likes his sushi. I don't care if Alex... Ooh, cookies in the trash can first day? Evelyn? You shouldn't have. You know? Uh, checking the trash cans is also going to be uh, an uh, item off our checklist every day to accomplish. Along with talking to Haley, because talking to Haley is going to increase... Uh, her relationship with us. And here's something I've learned between the past playthrough and now. If you talk to somebody while they're doing some kind of activity and what was what was specifically mentioned on this thing that I read was uh, Haley taking pictures right here. If I, if I talk to her right now, which I, I'm tempted to because she's too distracted to notice me, we actually do not want to talk to her while she's taking pictures because that doesn't count towards uh, as many friendship points as it would if she was not preoccupied. Uh, and that is a that is not what we did on any of the playthroughs. And that right there could actually affect the outcome in a decent way. I, I would I would say personally, I would personally think. And say there's no spring onion. That's kind of a bummer, but uh, it's fine. Am I mad about it? Eh, well, yes. 
is it a frustration I can stand? Not really. Can't really stand it. Am I gonna am I gonna explode? Maybe. Crazier things have happened. Joss does ellipses and high. Okay, whatever, man. Uh, remind me to go talk to Haley. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I just missed. This is bad. This is stupid. Okay. I meant to clear a path. Supposed to clear a path into the forest first thing. That's a very good first thing to do, and I did not do that. Um, but at like 5 p.m., I want to say at 5 p.m., Haley walks back, so maybe this isn't a bad thing. We'll go check the trash cans on the east side of town. Uh, next to the blacksmith in the library and then by that time we can walk back and catch Haley on her little stroll home or at her house contained within her domicile perhaps uh, always hoping for some gold bars from the blacksmith no gold bars today whoopee doodah whoopee zippity doo da uh, We checked the trash cans in front of Evelyn. We checked trash cans in front of the saloon. There's Sam. I don't care. Let's talk to Alex. He's right here. <laughs> You're the new guy. Cool. Okay, Haley should be... This is the only day... She, she takes photos one day a week according to what you're available to see in the game. Okay, you're the new farmer, aren't you? Okay, so that that should have counted as um, at least the most friendship points we can get. Every day if we talk to her, we get some friendship points. So that's a very, very important thing to check off our to-do list. Uh, and as tempted as you think I would be to give her one of these daffodils, we actually need to wait until the last possible minute to give her a gift because that gives us the most time to acquire one of those loved gifts uh, which is also reminding me let's go check Gus's stock unfortunately we do have to wait until at least 1 or 12 p.m. 12 30 for Gus to be here tortillas two of them you ain't getting my gold for tortillas pal we don't want anything else Useless. Bye, Gus. Uh, okay, we check the trash cans. We check Gus's stock. We talk to Haley. That's about all we uh, really need to do in terms of outside the farm. So now the only other thing on the checklist for the first day, which I always try to accomplish, is getting to... Um, getting to level one foraging so that we have the ability to craft field snacks, which could be a very good energy source, energy and health replenishment source. Although on this playthrough with the fishing playthrough, again, we're going to be catching enough fish um, to not really need anything else for energy. I think that's, I think that's a most symbiotic uh, way to operate on a playthrough like this. Uh, we just gotta water those little crops. And we're only, again, we're only growing the, the few crops that we need for a, uh, for the, uh, 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 the bundles in the community center. Although I might, I might end up deciding, I might end up deciding to go the Joja Cola route. That's one thing that we, I've been kind of debating what, what the better option is, what, what will end up being quicker. And that does probably have some random elements to it that go into it. One playthrough it might be better to wait for the bundles or the other playthrough it might be better just to pay. But I don't know. I don't know. I haven't determined that yet myself. We're going to basically save everything. We have two daffodils for gifts for Haley, but we, again, are going to wait till the end of the week to give her anything so that we have a max amount of opportunities to get something loved. Uh, and that's the only farming. This is, I'm going to do a nine by or a, a three by three tile of uh, crops, and that's about it. I will just keep using our parsnips uh, as those come up to maintain like a, a three by three tile. 
And that's about it. That is about it. And then also it's good to have one of each crop just in case somebody asks or uh, specifically Haley asks for one of those uh, seasonal crops on the bulletin board. Something we have not had good luck with on any of our playthroughs. Getting uh, those requests from Haley, which can definitely increase our relationship really well uh, and very quickly help it help expedite that process. So now, again, the only thing that we need to do today um, is really chop down trees is pretty much what I'm going to focus on. That's what I want to put all my energy into because we want to level up to level one foraging. We want to get the ability to craft uh, field snacks. And then also, we are going to need at least 350 pieces of wood to get across uh, the broken bridge at the beach. Otherwise, we can't buy, we cannot buy uh, what is essentially your engagement ring, the amulet from the old mariner. The old mariner on those parts. Um, health. Or my energy is very low. My energy is very low. I'm going to go grab a uh, daffodil, probably. Eat one of these daffodils that we got. What sucks, I guess I have the cookies, too. Maybe I'll do the cookies. I just don't know if that's... I can use that much energy. You just don't want to over... Uh, overdo it on your... I basically want to end the day at zero energy. O optimal optimal scenario, we go to bed as late as possible, which there's some differences depending on if you're leveling up or not. If we level up, our energy is going to increase back to 100% the next day, uh, no matter what time we go to bed. So we can, we can pass out at 2 a.m. on the floor of our, our little tiny shack and we'll get all our energy back. If we're not going to level up, uh, we want to go to bed ideally before, uh, I think it's 12, 12 a.m. to maximize the amount of energy that we get back for sleeping. So, uh, again, I do hope to get to level, uh, level one foraging at least today. And I do think that I'll be able to use all the energy that these cookies are going to give us chopping down trees and such. And then that should give us enough uh, experience to level up to level level one foraging. I would hope. I have not. I have not failed to level up to level one foraging for a while. But the, you know what? Don't be too proud, buddy. You can't be too proud. Pride comes before the fall, Paul. That's all. Also, I'm still not sure if it's a better use of the energy in terms of experience gain. Okay, we already made it to level one foraging, so we're great. But, like I said, we need a lot of wood for not only those boxes that we want to produce, but for, uh, one, getting over that bridge, but then also, two, we're going to need to upgrade our house so that we have the ability to get married. You cannot get married until we upgrade our house at least once, and uh, that requires... I want to say that's like 400 wood or 450, 450 pieces of wood. That number's never going to stick in my head. Oh, there's a bubble spot up there on the freaking water. Okay, so fishing, those bubble spots are exactly what you want to see because the, uh, the speed that you can get a bite is increased like exponential. I think it's 4, 4x. Four uh, also, my energy is super low again, huh? Let's see if we can get this tree down. I have four more hits that I can make, four more swings. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna try. I'm, not, I'm gonna I'm gonna chop down these little little tiny logs. That's what I was saying. I got distracted, but I'm not sure if it's better in terms of experience gain to to chop down just these little logs, or to focus on chopping down the 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 actual entire trees. Obviously, you're gonna get more wood. I think chopping down the trees. Okay, so we're at one energy. Let's go to bed. Or actually, no, we're not going to go to bed yet. We can actually go forage because now we're not worried about getting into bed by midnight. Uh, we leveled up our foraging skill once, so we're going to stick there. What's up, Gary? Um, 
Uh, we don't have to get to bed to replenish our energy. So let's just... And I'm not going to bring any item on me that can use energy because I will end up screwing myself over. Also, uh, I forgot to go clear that path down to the forest, but that's fine. We can do that. We're just going to need some energy to do that tomorrow. Until then, let's go forage because foraging can make a difference. The reason we focused on foraging uh, the first couple playthroughs was because our strategy was to focus on uh, gathering daffodils and getting the highest quality daffodils possible. So the higher quality or the higher level uh, your foraging skill, the more likely you're going to get a high quality uh, pickup from any kind of foraged just, item. Just Thank you. Yes, Charlie. Thank you. Uh, for instance, we got a gold horseradish. That's incredible. Uh, for having only level one foraging, you start getting gold. Sup, dude? I just thought maybe it was just like a secret. Like you could whack that rock with a um, horse. Like whack a, that rock with, with your own pickaxe or something, and then it'll give you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, like you can break the, open the path to the mines quicker if you do something special or something like that. That'd be kind of fun. I don't think that's. That I don't think you can. But now it's locked in place. Okay. Thank you. So really you think, oh God, uh, wait, did yeah. I see a piece of forage behind this tree? No. I thought those little leaves looked like something popping out. Popping out of there. And let's actually get all the fiber that we can right now, which we'll just probably sell. I'll save enough fiber to... Um, oh, that rock is still there, so we need to... We can't get in here yet. There's a lot of fiber in there to grab. But then there's also quite a bit of fiber uh, right over here. Not making us much money, but you know what? Oh, shit, it's 1.20 a.m. We got to go. Fuck the fiber. I'll get fucking home. Whatever. I feel like we maximized the day. I feel pretty good about the first day. If I... If I messed something up on the first day, I, m I might restart the playthrough. We haven't had to do that yet. Let's just get inside. I'm not liking this amount of time we got. I'm not liking it. Let me get to sleep. Wait, let's go over the checklist. Every day we got our checklist. Our, our checklist. Haley has been spoken to. Done. We did not need to gift her today. No. The, the, the soonest we would gift her is going to be Friday, which is also... Uh, the event horizon in terms of getting two gifts in per week, because that's another big goal of ours. Two gifts per week. Uh, very, very important. You get a bonus for giving two, two gifts. Uh, at the end of the week, you'll get an extra amount of friendship points. But uh, obviously not gifting her is a big, big, big no-no. So most importantly, two gifts a week. Don't want to scare her off with gifts too early. No, yeah. Got to get her warmed up a little bit. It can... It can look creepy to just start giving people shit, you know? And Haley's no exception. Plus, we're giving her things that we found on the ground. That's that's probably not the, the best thing to do. Um, but, okay, spoken with Haley. No gifts today. That's fine. We checked Gus's stock. We checked all the trash cans. We're good to go. There was no cart lady today. We were not going to be able to check that stock. We foraged as much as possible. We're set. We are set. And then today is going to be a very important today. Uh, the second day is when we get our fishing rod and things can really start cooking. Level one foraging. That was our main goal. One of our main goals for the first day. And we accomplished that. Uh, fortune teller. Ooh, very happy spirits. Okay. That's good because that means the first day of fishing, we're going to have some good luck with a few... A few uh, different things that are that are to do with fishing. Your daily luck. I don't really want to quote exactly what it does, but I know it does affect uh, things like how many times uh, you're going to find treasure chests as you're fishing. And treasure chests are... They're pretty good. Let me tell you. And as, we're, as we are fishing, I'd slowly be explaining... 
all the ins and outs. Bigger backpack. We're going to get that at some point. Willie wants me to come look at his rod. That could be taken the wrong way. We don't need anything on us. We're going to go to uh, the beach basically right away because we want to fish. At this point, today we're getting our fishing rod. And then it's the, the game to play is just fish, fish, fish. That's it. That's all we want to do. Uh, and we're going to be able to level up our fishing very fast. In fact, we might end up being able to buy the next fishing rod today, which is very important to do as soon as possible, uh, only because having bait on your fishing rod, attached to your fishing rod, very, very important. It can be a uh, much uh, better money maker. Because uh, I have played through where I waited to get the iridium, iridium rod as long as possible, and that was a big mistake. I thought saving the money on the, the uh, first rod was going to be the way to go, but no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Gotta get a bigger rod. Yes, Willie is very, very um, influential on, on making me feel like my rod just is not suitable, not good enough. He loves sending me messages telling me I need a new rod. Which you will see, we'll get we we'll get mail from Willie, the fishmonger guy. The Q, Gary, the Q. Uh, okay, so what do we want to do? I'm gonna save. Let's see, we can sell first of all. We can sell. Let's sell some shit. Uh, while I would be saving pretty much all of this uh, in a real playthrough, right now actually is a lot better to just sell. I'm gonna bring actually this dandelion with us to the beach save these pine cones for now everything else is good sell that we can sell all that stuff we're gonna bring that with us for some energy i don't do i need my scythe i i guess we can leave it back here i think we can leave it here i don't really want anything on me i usually like my hoe i guess i'll bring my hoe only for artifact spots. I, I do not like passing up an artifact spot. And then we're gonna bring one, one chest to the beach as well. The beach, the, basically the, Willie's docks are now ours. All your docks are become to us, okay? Uh, Willie, my friend Willie. Uh, and that's all we're gonna bring. Yeah, we're gonna go to the beach. We're doing that, Willie. Let's... Oh, there's a bubble spot right there, but I don't have a rod yet. Again, those are the... Those are the big money maker. Um, let's do this really quick. Before I forget, I actually wanna go clear just so that it can really screw us over if we, we uh, try to take the path from the beach back through the forest area we can actually get kind of screwed over if we don't have a, a good path and also right here is probably one of the better spots to fish if we were if we were inclined to stay on the farm but there's reasons to stay at the beach to, uh, to fish uh, that i think are are very important and i will explain as we're as we're going through there but yeah just clearing just so that we can walk currently we can't even walk from our farm into the forest without uh, getting blocked by all this crap. And if we, again, if we head home from the beach for some reason, like we're gonna go talk to Haley and we walk down Willow Lane. Uh, oh, there's another bubble spot. Is that another one or is that the same one? I think that's a different one. It's a very lucky day and that actually, this is why I didn't wanna really spout off because there's a lot of things that a luck, the way luck works in this game is very interesting and it, it's kind of confusing still to me, even though I've tried to read about it a few times. Um, but it might affect how often you find you come across bubbles like that in the water. Maybe, maybe. Again, this is why I didn't want to say anything because I'm not 100% sure about it. Check the bulletin board. That's also something we should try to commit to our, our daily checklist, making sure we're not missing some bulletin board stuff, which this is a very good one to get. Two smallmouth bass from Willy right away. We're going to be focusing on fishing. There's Shane. We don't care about Shane. I do use Shane as my control during 
uh, or one, one of my controls during uh, my research. Let's go talk to Haley too right now, actually, before we go to the beach. That's probably a good idea. I think she'll be, is she gonna be coming out of her room? I should have my, my Haley schedule cheat sheet. Oh, she's not out of her room yet, okay. Let's, and this is something we have to decide, is like when, when do we wanna go talk to Haley? She has a fairly simple schedule, so it's not, oh, here we go. Okay, Willie, I know all about your poll, bro. And we're gonna set, we're gonna set this box. I think for now, I'm gonna keep it right here. No, let's put it, I like it right over here by this, by this door. Although I always forget which spot it is. Cheat sheet time. There's a great, on the Wikipedia, there's a great little map that shows you uh, all the locations you can place uh, items, whatever item you want outside of your farm. Very important in later later playthroughs or later uh, late game, end game type stuff. You want to be placing kegs and, uh, well, really kegs. In my case, though, eventually there's going to be uh, statues of Endless Fortune, though. As, as many statues of Endless Fortune all over the place. would be awesome. Um, okay, wait. I wanted to see... Worm Bin. I don't know why it's only on the Worm Bin Wikipedia page, but that's where I find it. This little map. Worm Bin's off the farm. And the beach. Plenty of spots here. Yeah, okay. I always want to double check. I don't know why I can't remember this, but I can't. That's a good spot for that. Basically, we're going to keep everything in here except our fishing pole until we absolutely need it. So we have plenty of energy, but we'll use these two items to replenish energy if we if we, uh, if we we get to that point, which we probably will. We're also going to get a lot of seaweed. And benefit of being at the beach, we can go in and sell our fish anytime we want, and that's going to be very important because... Uh, we basically want to keep as much fish as possible until we level our fishing skill uh, to level five. First step is getting it to level five, and we can increase the value of the fish that we sell. So we're basically going to just sell off each fish individually as we need the money. Um, and then once we get to level five, we can sell, sell, sell up to a certain point again that's something in the strategy we can kind of decide is like the best optimal time to keep your fish and sell your fish or whatever um uh, but then we're gonna wait we're gonna start saving our fish again once we get to a certain point so that at level 10 we increase the value of the fish 50 percent, and we can sell that for even more so saving the fish actually is going to net us more money in the long run but having the ability to sell them individually as needed that day because as i said maybe we can buy the new fishing pole today if we catch enough fish we level up our fishing skill um and we uh can buy because you have to get the level two fishing before you even have the ability to buy uh the new fishing pole from willie and then we're gonna buy bait and actually you know what i'm gonna do well i'll wait i'll wait right now we'll fish a little bit but uh also buying uh some of the food that that willie has increases our fishing skill uh, which during the very early stages of fishing can make a big difference because as your fishing skill goes up, uh, your bite rate also increases. So the higher fishing skill, the quicker you're going to end up getting more fish, which means more money over time. Uh, and having a fishing buff this early in the game can actually make a pretty big difference. Okay, so we obviously always want max cast because the further away from uh, our standing point here, the higher quality the fish can be and the uh, the variety of fish also goes up. You can't catch certain fish until you can get out uh, your line to a certain point. And as we level up our fishing skill, uh, we can cast uh, further from where we're standing. Oh no, I didn't do a perfection. So you wanna, uh, you obviously wanna catch the fish. Nice, sardine. Okay, not bad first fish. I swear it's always a sunfish. That's interesting it was a sardine. I swear it's usually a sunfish. The first one. But I don't know. I could be wrong. 
Um, there we go. Okay, so if you get a perfect catch like that, uh, you also multiply the experience that you gain for catching the fish. It's like a two-time multiplier for getting a perfection. Very, very important. Ideally, we would catch every fish as a perfection, and that would help us level our fishing skill as quickly as possible. Um, it's not as easy during the first days of fishing because our fishing, our bar, catch bar, is much smaller. Um, and that's, again, why buying the fishing buff from Willy this early is actually a good idea because um, we're going to catch fish faster and then we should also be able to maintain uh, a perfect catch a lot easier. I'm doing horrible right now, but I'm also trying to chat. I'm trying to chat at you. So don't expect to be impressed. Uh, another little thing to note, as you cast your line... Um, if you're facing east or west, you can actually cast one block uh, or one square, one tile further out. Uh, and in the very, again, very early stages of fishing, we want to cast our line as far as possible, as soon as possible. Uh, and so maintaining a east or western direction to the cast uh, can really help us out. We just don't want to go up or down because that's uh, we won't catch as high quality of fish. Uh, and we don't have the opportunity to catch certain fish at certain distances and such. Kind of surprised we haven't had a treasure chest yet. As much as I was bragging about it being a very happy day here. What's up, ignorant? Hang on, wait. Let me read this. Let me... I'm gonna read... Oh! And the speak of the devil. Treasure chest as well. Oh, schnitzel. Okay. Do not mess this treasure chest up, bro. Get him into a green area. We want to get the fish almost caught. Then we can go distract ourselves with the chest. And then we want to go back down to that fish. Treasure chest as well. You, you sacrifice a lot of the time getting a perfect catch. But the treasure chest also multiplies your experience gain. One piece of coal. The treasure chest can drop like the best shit in the game essentially. And that's what's really powerful about it is that this early you can kind of get equipped with some really interesting things that you would be very hard pressed to find otherwise uh, for instance there's some weapons that we can find in those treasure chests that make mining at the very early stages of the game incredibly easy um, so here's what I'm going to do I, I do like that idea of buying a fishing buff right now I can't buy the new pole yet. We have to get to level two to get the new pole, but we're already at level one fishing, which is incredible. Um, I am going to buy a trout soup again. I'm not even, I'm not even buying this for the energy replenishment. It's, it's literally just for that plus one fishing skill. Cause it, it can help us catch way more fish very quickly. Um, anyway, ignorant. What's up? Okay. Uh, question about Haley. Why the heck did she tell me to poison her sister? <laughs> uh, fan theory fan theory is that they are not sisters so uh i don't know that that is actually i'm not even bullshitting that's like that's that, that's a theory and i think they, there's some dialogue in the game where one of them says i don't think she's my sister or something like that uh it's not about the size of the catch bar yeah exactly it makes it okay exactly um Okay, so uh, I'm going to take this, even though I don't really need the energy replenishment, I have found, again, I've done some experimentation with a fishing playthrough like this, and energy kind of is not that big of a deal. Like, it's not as important to focus on getting uh, our energy or, or maintaining our energy level. We're going to have such good access to a, a pool of energy replenishment items that that's not a big deal. But right now, that plus one fishing can make a big difference between in how many fish we're going to catch just today uh, and therefore the amount of money we'll make today and the level of fishing that we can get to today even though we did spend most of our money getting that just now it's fine i think it's i think it's very well worth the price of admission i mean if it if it if it nets us one or two more fish today 
or actually, I guess it depends on what type of fish it is, but um, if that buff nets us a few more fish for the day, then it has already covered the expense of itself and makes it well worth the price. Um, but then also, again, the more fish we catch, the sooner we're going to level up, and that does uh, make a big difference. Because the sooner we level up our fishing, we're just it, up. Everything increases. It's a we're gonna catch fish faster. We're gonna get better fish that are worth more money faster. Overall, more better. We caught our first piece of seaweed. I'll save some seaweed. I will save some seaweed for um energy replenishment, and I'll save. Probably a couple pieces just in case someone asked for it on the bulletin board. I feel like if you focus on fishing, you end up getting more fishing related quests on the bulletin board, but that I, I don't know if that's actually 100% true. It feels that way, but I could be wrong. There's our first iridium quality fish. Obviously, higher quality fish, more money, uh, and also the quality of fish does make a difference in terms of how much experience gain you're going to get from each fish. Uh, so, again, it, it really, it's kind of cool. Ooh, our first flounder. Uh, it's kind of cool how it really emphasizes, th this is one of the few skills in the game that emphasizes the player's actual skill uh, to increase uh, profit and uh quality of what you're getting like there's uh, and if i'm not if i'm not mistaken basically nothing else is like there's not really much i mean i guess i guess combat is kind of more skill based or something like that uh but this is this is very very determined uh by how well you fish your quality of the fish you catch and all that and that's just kind of cool if you are very good at fishing Again, getting perfections each time, uh, biggest, biggest goal. And as we fill up our inventory, we can just go over here, dump, dump our fish, which I will, maybe I'll, s no, I guess we don't have to sell any fish right now. We do need to go talk to Haley still. We need to go check Gus's stock. Let's just go do that now, just because that was a good time walking over and dumping our, our, our loot. Another thing to keep an eye out for on the beach is cockle oh dude i should have brought my i'll remember to bring my hoe on the way home there's a couple artifact spots uh, but if if you find a cockle on the beach keep it because it's, it's one of the things you need for a bundle and it, it, they're very rare to find as i mean it's like when if you're not paying attention it might seem like they're easy if you're if it's not like you're looking for them but once you start looking for a cockle, like I have not been able to get a cockle early in the uh, game for a while, uh, which just gives us our ability to complete some of those bundles and get some of the bundle uh, rewards quicker. Uh, crispy bass, not what we're looking for. Not this time. Not this time, Gus. Keep cleaning that glass. Maybe I'll come back later. Uh, we checked all the trash cans except for the far east side of the map. So maybe we'll do that. And also, I am still not sure if you can even get... I guess, really, Gus's trash can might be the most important one to check. Um, because he can have... He can have uh, a food item drop out of his trash can. Which also indicates what the food of his uh, daily rotation is, by the way. It's always whatever comes out of the trash can ends up being... What's up, Haley? Nice shoes. Are they made out of plastic? Yeah, shut up. They're leather, okay? Kick you in the face. You'll you'll know what they're made out of. Yeah. Sounds very abusive. My character's no nonsense this time. Paul, spelled P-A-W-L, is a no-nonsense type person, okay? Let's go check these trash cans. I just don't know. I, I should, and this is something else that I probably could look up that I have hesitated to do. Uh, but I know I've gotten coconuts out of the trash cans. I'm not sure if uh, there's specific trash cans they can drop coconut or if you have to have reached the desert before they can, before any of them can drop coconuts. I, I, 
not 100% sure about that. Um, do we check the trash cans down by the girl's house? Maybe not, but we'll do that on the way home if we remember. And we'll try to remember to get those artifact spots. But the most important thing is fish. What's up, Willie? Okay, so we cannot sell him anything else today. Uh, which means we're not going to get the second fishing pole today, but that's fine. We're, we're, we got plenty of... We got plenty of... Uh, opportunity even without it for the remainder of the day oh you know what i actually that was maybe a stupid choice to go do the haley thing right then i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't uh i couldn't uh or i can't remember if the the fishing buff was still there that was probably a mistake it does not last as long as you'd want it to i think that three ooh, treasure chest That was not bad at all. The more treasure... I mean, treasure chest, dude. That's... Like, see, we can get anything right now. Anything. It's actually not true. But, okay, six iron ore. Are you kidding me? Right now, that is a very good find at this point in the game. Um, as much as I'm saying you can get anything from the treasure chest, there are some... Uh, oh, shit. I was raising my hand up in... Some sort of a gesture when we got that bite. No big deal. Um, uh, you cannot get certain items until you reach like a certain level of the mines and things like that. Tisk tisk. Yeah. Now it's locked in Thank place. Thank you. Okay. So really? You think um, oh God, Harold. Also, we're going to save all that junk, all that trash, because eventually we'll get the recycling bin, which is something we'll craft later. And then we can start recycling all this junk that we're going to get while we fish. Ooh, another chest. See, I thought... Oh, schnitzel. Don't let him go, buddy. It is possible also to get a treasure chest and a perfection. Hang on, let's get the fish up to a green. And then we can catch the chest. And then we can catch the fish. Um, but if the fish behaves properly... You can actually get a perfection and catch a chest at the same time. Which I, I believe is the ideal scenario, but that not, does not happen very often. Oh, see, we're already getting bait. That's very good, too. Because we cannot build bait. We're not going to be able to create bait uh, until we can get into the mines and gather up a bunch of bug meat. So we're going to be buying it en masse from uh, our boy Willie. Uh, piece by piece, we're going to, again, because we don't want to sell fish as uh, until we get that, that upgrade to our fishing prices. Ooh, what is this? Oh, something. That guy, he was moving like crazy for a second. Hang on, let's get this chest, though. I love that at the end of the day here, we're getting, getting treated really well with these chests. Give me a glow ring. Ah, more bait. That's good, too. Again, bait is going to be... That's that's going to help us out big time. Once we get the next fishing pole, we could pop that bait on there. We are at level 2 fishing. Uh, and I would buy the new... The new pole. If we had the ability, but we cannot buy anything from Willie after he closes his little shop up. I think at 5 or 4 p.m. 5 p.m., something like that. Uh, schedule dependent. Day dependent. Schedule dependent. Ooh, perfect. Come on now. Come on now. Ugh. Start celebrating myself and it's a bad idea. Mess up my perfection. And then we'll probably go home... We definitely want to leave plenty of time, but let's go. We'll go uh, walk down wi uh, 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 Willow Lane. Is it Willow? Mm -hmm. What's it? Willow Lane? Yeah, that mm -hmm. she lives on. Check Haley's trash can. We have to rifle through her trash can. You know, that's just always the best thing to do. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. We'll leave the beach at... We can fish more. Again, this is why we're on the fishing farm, so that when we do head home, uh, we can do a little bit more fishing until the last possible second and then go pass out. Which, again, tonight we don't have to worry about passing out before a certain time because we're going to level up our fishing skill and we will uh, just get all our energy back anyway, no matter what. Which we won't even probably run out of energy because we took that soup. And, uh... We have plenty of other f energy items, even if we did. Seaweed's going to be a big, big part of our diet. I can tell you that going... Going forward... We're going to catch a lot of it. Okay. Give me something good. Oof, more bait. Again, uh, no, I'll take the bait. Let's go put some stuff in our stash box. I do not want to run out of space when we get some really cool object from from the treasure chests. So I guess I want to say not getting spring onion yesterday. I guess we made up for it by getting a very lucky day today, which is actually beneficial. That that would be don't take the bait. Um, the very lucky day on the first day like this, that's that's actually a probably a pretty big boon in terms of uh, a good leg forward, one foot forward for this type of playthrough. And yeah, let's go. I guess we could, uh, I guess we could leave. We could leave here at like 12:30 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Also, I gotta keep my eye out for bubble spots. Oh, oh no, that was oh that was very close to the perfection with that with that treasure box. Geode, see like that's a that's a get. That is a good get right now. You'd probably crack those open, not. Not that late into the playthrough. Try to make up some good materials. Which, if we get pretty much any any kind of iron, or I'm sorry, any kind of ore, uh, all of it is useful for crafting, for fishing, and is basically more valuable as uh, a crafting item than to sell. Things like crafting the lures is going to be important. We're going to want to craft um, some furnaces. We're going to want to craft uh, a Chris or not a crystallarium, a recycling machine, and all those things kind of utilize a lot of these uh, ores that we're going to end up getting while we're fishing. Very nice that you get that because otherwise we have to go to the mines or we wouldn't even be able to get that until at least the fifth day when the mines are open. Oh, so this is pretty good. What time is it? 12.40. Okay, let's go home. Last fish. Wish it was a perfection, but you know what? I'm only human. Let's pop all this stuff in there. Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring... Geodes can come home with us. We want our uh, hoe. Always keep the fishing pole on me. What if you stumble across a, a, a bubble spot, you know? Um, these can come home with us. We're going to sell. We can sell the clam here at Willie's shop, so we can leave that here. We're going to end up setting up this area for smelting. Okay, the docks have, are going to become our smelting area. And we're going to have a nice little recycling spot. So all that can stay in these bins here. The seaweed we're going to use for uh, energy replenishment. So we'll probably end up keeping our stack of seaweed just right in this chest anyway. And then let's go grab... It actually would not, by the way, it really would not be that big of a deal. Nice. Uh, if, if I was to pass out and not get home tonight because... 
Let's actually go. I won't even check Haley's. Or no, I can check the trash cans. I can check. I think I checked the trash cans. You only lose 10% of your current. Um, oh, I already did check those. Okay, so we can go straight home. Um, you only lose 10% of your current income. So if I was to pass out, I actually would only lose six gold or five. I'm not even round itself down for us. Now I'm going to make it. This should be perfect. This is a perfect timing. Let's actually even stop here and sell. Maybe I'll sell the algae. The algae. Yeah, I can I can comfortably sell that. I think I can comfortably sell that. Pop all this stuff in there, and then we just go inside and pass out. Uh, turn on the fireplace. Again, checklist. We talked to Haley. Check trash cans. We check Gus's stock. No cart available to check, and then no gifts were necessary today. We are good to go. And then again, we're going to level up fishing twice. Awesome. We'll probably do a couple levels of fishing each day for the first, first few days or whatnot. Okay. 146 gold. Ah, you know what? A little bit of money never hurt. We're not going to be making much money in that, in that tally at the end of the day. We're not going to make much money uh, pretty much until we start selling fish. Uh, which, again, we're not going to do until we hit level 5 and then level 10. But as you can see, we're going to level up fishing pretty quick. So that will happen pretty quick. Um, all right, so that's the last day I'm going to play. Let's just check uh, what fortune we'll have when we do come back in. Mildly perturbed. And it is a rainy day. So we won't have to water the crops. That's going to be nice. Um, but other than that, yeah, let's wrap up. Good, good first look. First day we leveled up foraging. Second day we leveled up fishing twice. Pretty, pretty good start to our our playthrough. If if, if my opinion is to be uh, uh, respected here. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you everybody for coming and hanging out, man. I really appreciate it. Um. Uh, kicking off our next season of How to Marry a Photographer. You know, we haven't done this for a while, so hope everybody was was uh, was okay with that little break, the little interim between us, our, our seasons here. Should be should be a good one. Like I said, I think this this feels like it's the the best bet in terms of making money quick. So I have high hopes that we will advance our score our final score our final day complete thank you brother thank you very much um we're gonna do i uh, believe me i got one more shot to do here i got a sh one more one more ceremonial sippage to take before we actually wrap up um but i can i can almost thank well. you thank you uh, i can almost guarantee we will best our our date uh thank you gary uh we will best our in-game marriage date time uh, oh, I'm, i I'm pretty confident, but I was also pretty confident with the, with the mining session too. So I don't know. Thank you, ignorant. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I would, I would, uh, I would say you guys should take a shot with me, but I know it's also a work week. I generally, I would not be typically drinking on a Wednesday generally too. So, um, I don't really want to encourage anybody to do anything irresponsible but i will say thank you all very much for being here and being a part of this making my birthday special helping me be productive i like being productive on my birthday i mentioned that earlier um and doing this was kind of a fun little fun little thing and that's why it's gonna be it's just a little short one tonight um but yeah cheers thank you all very much really love you looking forward to uh, uh another good year i know this is something we'll probably say again at the at new year's but um uh, my life years, my life years being here on the planet. Uh, looking forward to another really great year. And I think, I think doing a stream tonight was a good way to kick off um, this next year of my life and uh, encouraging us to, uh, to do this uh, more and get better at it. Right. So cheers. Uh, thank you all very much. Mm. Oh, that's, that's like, Rubbing alcohol is what that tastes. Vodka is a bit of like a rubbing alcohol type vibe. And that's why 
the expression on my face. It's like so good. Whoo. I should have had water. That was my mistake is that I would probably chase it with water. But it's good. We're good. Woo. Waking me up, though. I was actually getting really tired before I got on my stream. So uh, waking up is a good thing, I guess. Uh, but yeah, thanks again, everybody, for coming and hanging out. Really appreciate it. Uh, let's just pop up our socials. Pop up our socials for your uh, content pleasure. Again, if you want to watch pretty much all of the uh, How to Marry a Photographer series, all of the uh, first seasons, sessions of this series that we're doing, uh, everything's up on YouTube. So if you enjoyed this and you want to binge something and watch this play through the first couple of times we did this and follow along with the strategy and uh, see how we evolve our strategy... Uh, check out those first two or first three seasons on YouTube. Those are all on there. Um, as well as, again, what we're always working on, uh, which is the How to Marry, if, or I'm sorry, Photography in Stardew Valley video, which uh, every time we do one of these streams, we're building what we want to say about the photo content in here. Uh, so you can find those videos on YouTube as well once they're ready. I know we've been talking about that for a while, but... Uh, they're in the works. Okay, people. And then obviously TikTok as well. If you like, uh, just short clips, check out the TikTok cause, um, uh, you'll be able to just find little bite-sized snippets for your pleasure. And then again, we have a pretty cool group of people, pretty incredible amount of people on the discord. Uh, if you want to be in touch while we're not streaming, stay up to date with what we're doing on here help contribute to what we're doing on here. Cause that's another big part of the discord that I think I failed to mention pretty, pretty uh, regularly, but I mean to mention it. Uh, everybody has a say, I mean, I, I want to hear people's opinion about what we're doing here in the darkroom. I want it to be fun for everybody. I'd like to hear uh, what people like and don't like about what we're doing. Uh, share your work with us. Yeah, I know I need to put, I need to put, be posting more on there. I know I try to mention that every single time. I apologize for not being, as active on there as I probably could be, but uh, I'm getting better, okay? I'm getting better. Uh, and uh, yeah, people can share that. Oh, you share other, yeah. Everyone else also, yes, you can share if you've taken any in-game photos. Not really, I, I think I failed to mention that during our Stardew streams because we're not taking photos and then I forget to mention that if you've taken any in-game photos um, in any game you enjoy or you have a game you like shooting photos in, share that on the Discord. Share your work on the Discord. I'd love to see what people are doing. Uh, or if you have a, just a cool suggestion. Thank you, Johnny Boy. Thank you, number 22. Awesome. Uh, if you have any cool games to suggest as well, it's a good place on the Discord to uh, tell me what you think we should do next once we're done. We have a pretty good amount of uh, work already that we're going we're gonna to spend time with for probably the next, I want to say I have pretty much like the next year of things uh, pretty much set, but... Uh, I can also just shift things around if one thing pops up more interesting or maybe we're always changing what we're doing here. So uh, maybe uh, I'll just switch gears at some point and switch paths a little bit and uh, your suggestion might help help influence that if you got a game or something cool to play. Um, anyway, uh, again, thank you all very much for being here, making this special for me, making a special night, making it a special evening, kicking off the, the fourth season of How to Marry a Photographer right uh, so thank you all very much. Really appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow for Zelda Triforce Thursday. Uh, same time here in the darkroom, 7.30 p.m., although I guess tonight we went on a little early. Uh, we'll be going on around this time tomorrow, though, uh, playing some Zelda Breath of the Wild, doing photography in there. And then we got Friday, Photography Friday. We're going to enjoy some uh, Fallout 76 photography as well. Uh, so looking forward to seeing everybody there. If you can't make it, please enjoy the rest of your weekend or just enjoy your weekend. You definitely deserve uh, to have some fun. Uh, let loose a little bit. Enjoy yourself. Um, and yeah, again, thank you all. Appreciate it. Love you all. Let's rate. Well, I got to rate the stream. I'd say, you know, because we got that very lucky spirits day and we caught quite a few treasure chests. I'm going to do like one Todd Howard because he was minimized. Then we got like four Argus. Dorito. Dorito. And three hearts. Three. Three. Purple hearts. And that's a rating I can get behind. Uh, I'm going to throw a snack out there. 
snack, you all. Yeah, enjoy your evening, everybody. Thank you.